we're going to name the quadrant in which an angle lies. So here we're told that the sine is a negative angle and the cotangent of theta is a positive angle. So when we look at their quadrants, um, we see that the first quadrant, everything is positive. In the second quadrant, sine and cosecant are positive. Third quadrant, tangent and cotangent are positive. And in the fourth quadrant, we have cosine and secant that are positive. So we can start eliminating which ones are negative. So we see that sine has got to be negative, so we can eliminate the first two quadrants. So sine is negative in both of these quadrants. Now we need to find out which one cotangent is positive. Cotangent is going to be the same as tangent. So tangent is positive in the third quadrant, and sine would be negative in the third quadrant. So then we know that this angle will lie in quadrant three. We have one more. In this one, both secant and tangent are positive. So if we look at this, the only quadrant in which both of those are positive is quadrant one. So we know that the angle lies in quadrant one.